All right, everyone. Hello and welcome in. Some very interesting developments here this Wednesday evening for the Minnesota Vikings. And today I'm going to do my best Allen Iverson impression, and I'm going to talk about practice, specifically the Minnesota Vikings practice that happened today at TCO Performance Center and the uh, midweek injury report that was subsequently released following that practice, because the interesting development of the day, and it's probably going to be a storyline leading up to the week four match this Sunday with the Cleveland Browns at U.S. Bank Stadium, is going to be the return of Christian Derrissaw. Christian Derrissaw was a full participant in practice today for the first time for the Minnesota Vikings. If you remember earlier in the season, before the season actually even began, uh, he re-aggravated his groin injury and opted to have a second surgery. So his timetable to return is falling right into that area where I first predicted when we learned about that second surgery. I, I thought we wouldn't see him for about three to four weeks. He would miss the first month, the first uh, quarter of the season, if you will. And it looks like uh, he's on his way back. Now, Rashad Hill was a non-participant in practice today, but that turned out to just be a veteran day off. So that kind of puts us up in the air of who could potentially be the starting left tackle for the Minnesota Vikings this upcoming week. And it's kind of significant because of the opponent that we're going to be facing, who has a pretty terrifying front seven, especially after we just watch them eviscerate the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields in his first start of his NFL career last Sunday. So... Are we going to see Rashad Hill as the starting left tackle this Sunday against the Browns, or will it be Christian Derrissaw? My money is set on probably Rashad Hill, and that's not the ideal situation, but given the fact that Christian Derrissaw has missed so much time, remember, he prob I think he's missed the entirety of the offseason, which includes OTAs, um, training camp, or mini camp, excuse me, all of the preseason games, the most that he's done is individual drills up until this point, and that you're only going to get so much out of that. So... It's going to depend on how quickly he can gel with the offensive line, which has played pretty decently going into this. And remember, this isn't about Rashad Hill losing the starting job. He was all he was always on borrowed time. He was just a temporary solution because he is a backup swing tackle. So far, the season PFF has graded Rashad Hill over three games as 72nd out of 74 offensive lineman. That's where he falls on the grading scale. He's 72 out of 74. That is pretty terrible. Him and Garrett Bradbury have not been great this season individually when it comes to grading and scoring, but as a unit overall uh, on the whole, uh, the Minnesota Vikings offensive line has been surprisingly not the weakness. So, but I think Christian Derrissaw taking over at the left tackle position would elevate the offensive line play even more. And the sooner that they can get him in there, the better. Remember, Rashad Hill was just a temporary solution, not a permanent solution for the uh, for the 2021 season. And I think if he ended up being that, we would be in a lot of trouble going forward. So who is going to play this Sunday? Should it be Christian Derrissaw? That is the big question. In my opinion, I think, you know, the sooner the better. Get him out there, you know, pit him against really good competition, which is what Miles Garrett is. If we can tame the pass rush that was Chandler Jones and the Arizona Cardinals like we did in week two, because remember, we all thought that we were in for some doom and gloom uh, for that offensive line heading into week two at Arizona because Chandler Jones in week one had five sacks, two forced fumbles, and uh, was a monster and a menace uh, in the backfield of the opposing team. That didn't happen to us. Chandler Jones was uh, pretty much taken care of. They schemed him out of the game. Can we do that again against Miles Garrett? I don't know. I think Miles Garrett, uh, while, you know, I think Chandler Jones is a pretty elite talent, but I think Miles Garrett is is probably one step ahead of him if I had to put them in tears. Um, Miles Garrett uh, is going to feast on Rashad Hill, in my opinion. Will he feast on Christian Derrissaw? I don't know. He could very well easily. He's a rookie. He hasn't participated all that much this year. Maybe the right move, and leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Maybe the right move is to save Christian Derrissaw and have him make his first NFL start next week against the Detroit Lions. It's a lesser opponent. It's at home. And I, I think that the pressure would be down just a little bit because of all the drama that's coming with the Cleveland Browns, right? Because we have the return of Kevin Stefanski for the first time in his career. This is the Ke Kevin Stefanski revenge game. I think I'm the only I'm the only one that's really been calling it that, but um, it, it sort of fits the bill. You know, we have Sheldon Richardson who's going to face his former team. Um, th there's a lot of big storylines coming with this, and this is a really important game. Uh, I don't think it would do any service to sort of break up the the offensive line and what they've been doing 
and uh, throw Christian Derrissaw to the wolves, if you will, because if we fall to one and three, things get very difficult. I don't want to say Rashad Hill gives us the best chance to win, but right now he's the most experienced when it comes to what they've been doing this season. That's just kind of the way that it is. Christian Derrissaw has a lot of catch up he's got to play. So I, I and I don't mean to call the Lions a lesser opponent as to talk down to them because I'm buying into the Dan Campbell formula just as much as it appears his team and his players are because I think that this I think that this Lions team is you know it's really young it's really inexperienced they don't have great talent at certain positional groups i.e. wide receiver but I think the future is bright for Detroit dare I say um, but I think that the smart move would be to replay to to play Rashad Hill this week which I think is what's going to happen regardless of what the injury report says it was just a veterans day off for him and a few others like Harrison Smith and what have you and then bring Christian Darrisaw in slowly this week and then uh, next week give him a full week of practice with all the first team reps and then make him good to go for the Lions game on Sunday. So that is my opinion on the situation. Those are the updates. That is what we know. It's just, it's good to see that he's back. The The bottom line, it's, the good, it's good to see that he's a full participant in practice uh, at this point in the season because he's only missed three games. And, you know, that's probably best case scenario. We were really worried if he was going to play at all. And the fact that he looks like he's on track to make a start really soon is is good news for this offensive line, this offense that is already doing very well under Clint Kubiak and Kirk Cousins this year. So that's going to do it for me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.